Hey everybody, Mike here at MH Tutorials and welcome back to a new subscriber request video. All right, so I received a question to explain the crease tool in Maya, okay? And I was actually a bit surprised that I never did that before. So let's, uh, let's do that, okay? Now it's a pretty nifty tool in Maya that you can use and I'll explain the purpose right now. We're just gonna take a uh, polygon pipe and we'll hit R and we'll scale that out and just uh, push that down a little. And let's give that some subdivision, okay? So uh, let's see, in height, we'll do three, that's fine. And then we'll do a few in the caps. Let's do three as well. Uh, maybe a bit more, let's do five. All right, so what we're gonna do with this guy is we're gonna select it and we're gonna right click, go to edge. And we'll just uh, take this edge and shift select and double click that edge. And we'll hit W and I'll pull them up, okay? So what you see right now is you have these fairly sharp edges sticking up, okay? Now you probably uh, know about the preview soft or smooth select, okay? So if I right click and go to object mode and I hit one, I'm in my original uh, mesh mode, okay? If I hit two, it's gonna um, kind of preview smooth my object, but also at the same time show the original cage, okay, like so. And if I hit three, I got a preview smooth, all right? Now, what happens with the crease tool is, let's say we got this edge going around here, right? It's kind of smooth, but a bit too smooth for my taste, right? So what I would normally do is I would select this guy, go back to one, I'd go to mesh tools, insert edge loop tool option box, and we'll do, uh, just do one setting here, and I'd add an edge loop right there. And maybe even one up here, okay? So now, if I right click, go to object mode, and hit three to smooth out, or preview smooth, suddenly that edge is much harder, okay? Now that's one way to approach it. However, there's one negative about this. Uh, if I hit four for wireframe mode, you can see that I'm adding edge loops and therefore adding to my poly count. And I don't always want that because let's say I want to export this thing for a game or whatnot. I want to keep the poly count low, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Control Z to go back and take both of these edges out. Right click, go to object mode, hit five for shaded mode. So we're back to our original situation, okay? So one on my keyboard is for my normal mesh, two is a cage and somewhat smooth mesh, and three, all right? So instead of adding edge loops, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and go to edge, and I'm gonna double click this entire surrounding edge, okay? And then I'm gonna go up to, uh, let's see, mesh tools, crease, and hit the option box. Now there's not much to it, I'm just gonna hit reset, and I'll just select absolute. And I never use relative, to be honest, I'm not sure what that does, but I'm gonna use absolute, okay? We're gonna close that out. Now, in order to activate this, you need to middle mouse click and drag, okay? So I'm gonna hold down my middle mouse, and I'm gonna start dragging. And as I do that, you see that there's this thick line created, okay? Now, if you look at the bottom left corner, you see crease tool, crease mode, absolute. That's the one we selected. The crease value is 1.53, and as I pull it up, it increases, and maximum value is two. So even if I go over two, I'm not gonna get more than two, okay? Even if I drag it up to three or whatnot. Okay, so I'm gonna release that, and I'm just gonna hit my select tool, and hit enter. So now, if I right click and go to object mode, and select this guy, and hit three to preview smooth, you're gonna see that I have the same effect that I just had when I added the edge loops, okay? But in this case, if you go to wireframe mode and hit four, you can see with the exception of this line, and I'll just turn that off. Uh, let's see, where is that? All right, so we're gonna check display, we're gonna go to polygons, and we're gonna go to crease edges, okay? And when we turn that off, you see that we have one single edge going on there. There's no additional uh, edges added, so there's no additional face count. 
And that's how the Cree tool works. So um, let me know if you have any questions. And that said, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.